All right, is it more difficult today to be a younger person than it has been? Some people are gonna say yes, some people are gonna say no. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, in general, I would say that we're safer than we have been if you compare it to previous generations. Like there's no civil war going on. There's not a world war going on. You have access to the internet. You know, most people have uh, a shelter, right? They can uh, afford a place to live. Uh, even if, if even if they barely can afford it, they still have a roof over their head. They have electricity. They have the, the internet, like I said, entertainment with your phone. Uh, so the standard of living is, has, has gone up where most people, uh, you know, even like homeless people I see have smartphones and stuff, right? So uh, I don't know how they have that. Maybe it's a government thing. I don't know. But younger people in general, right? If they did kind of what they were told to do by their parents, they went to college, they got a degree. Uh, if, if they were lucky, maybe their parents paid for their college um, and they come out of it. And so they, 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 they get a job and a lot of the jobs really just aren't that great pain, especially if you're younger, it's not going to be really enough money to, to afford a house or to afford a family on if you're just a normal person. If you have a technical degree, if you're a uh, doctor or a lawyer or a dentist or something like that, that's going to require uh, you to be pretty smart. It's going to require you to probably do an additional two to four years of education and it's going to cost a lot of money to get that certification uh, whether it's being a, a doctor or a lawyer or some high paying profession right you have to really kind of know what you're doing there if you just go the normal route of going to like a four-year college degree and and kind of doing that maybe it's a business degree or a sociology degree or a history degree or one of these degrees that doesn't really differentiate you or give you a service uh, other than maybe better soft skills so Certainly people that go to college, they, they can be better communicators, they can be more professional than like a lot of blue collar workers. Uh, I'm not saying that blue collar workers aren't professional, but in a business sense of just being professional and respectful, typically someone that goes to college is gonna be a little bit more refined on those skills. And they're gonna be just more even keel because they, they, they learn how to interact with people and be reasonable across the board. Certainly blue collar people can still have that and uh, but it's, it's just not something they have to deal with as much if you're like a plumber or an electrician or you're doing something where you don't really have to interact with people frequently so you're more kind of just doing work on your own or like a roofer or something like that right where you're spending all day working with your hands communication is not a big thing there right so um younger people though right if they have these skills or they have this degree it's not really skills, it's just a degree. It's not necessarily helping them today. Some people do get good jobs, but I think a lot of that, it's not really due to your college experience. It's more due to maybe you had a friend that works at a company or you have a personal connection and, and you, you're provided an opportunity there. Uh, but affordability, right? Like homes are way more expensive. The prices of things have really gone up in the, in the last few years where just your average person is going to be priced out of really affording a family and a home uh, in their 20s, probably. Uh, and so that's, that's why you see people are having kids later. People are not having kids at all. They're delaying home ownership. Like I've said in other videos, the first time home buyer is like 36 years old now. So people are, uh, whether they want to or not, buying a home at like right out of college is just not, it's not affordable. You can't, you know, if you come out of college and let's say you didn't have parents that helped you, maybe you have $50,000 or $100,000 in debt, maybe you don't have a car and you're trying to get a job and there's thousands of other people that apply to these jobs online. So uh, if you're in that camp, you're just like, oh man, this is kind of tough. You know, how am I supposed to, and maybe you don't have a girlfriend or maybe you don't have a boyfriend, right? And you're, uh, you're trying to do this all on your own. So you have to worry about rent. You have to you know, worry about transportation, worry about insurance, worry about uh, pay, you know, your student loans if you have those, and all without a job maybe. So maybe you're forced to take a lower paying job or you're forced to uh, take a job that you don't even want because you need to start making money. And uh, I think a lot of people are in that camp where they don't necessarily get a great paying job out of the gate. And then if they don't, if they're not with the right company or the right situation, it's hard for them to really improve upon that. So they can spend several years 
not really making significant amount of money and uh, their expenses are, are very high because they have to pay the inflated price of transportation, of cars, of insurance, of food, of rent, and they're not gonna be anywhere near being able to buy a, a single family home, right? Uh, so people are delaying all the things that they used to do in previous generations that people kind of took for granted, right? Like getting married, you know, starting a family, and getting a, a like a career type job those things so in some cases aren't happening at all for people but uh if they do happen maybe they're happening like seven to ten years later you know so you're no longer 23 or 24 years old with like a career job and a pension lined up and a single family home and your wife and you're married and you have two kids and the third one's on the way uh by the time you're like 26 or 27. um it's just not as common and that's because of the, that's, the, I, I really feel that's because of the economic environment that's been created. Yes, the, 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 the opportunities for women have drastically changed. So women are not financially dependent on men, but still, if, if, if people could afford to buy homes, like reasonable starter homes, and they, there wasn't a huge cost of like childcare. And one of the, one of the married Part, uh, people in the relationship could stay home and watch the kids. Um, people can't do that really because one income is not enough anymore to make a mortgage payment and to pay for food and to pay for insurance and to pay for uh, all the expenses related to living. Now you have really both people having to work and that's both people having to work just to really pay the expenses. Not for a family, not for home ownership, but just for rent and supporting themselves they're not they don't have a family they don't own their home and they're still kind of working just to pay for the bills that they have right because if you have you have student loans you have maybe a car payment you have high rent maybe because you live in a higher cost of living area um, much of your income especially if you're younger is going to go towards just making it to the next month right you have to pay for these things so that you have a roof over your head and you have to pay for your car insurance and you have to pay for the food and you go to the grocery store and the prices are, you know, they've gone up 100% in the last five years. Uh, so uh, if you don't make a lot of money, you're really gonna feel that. And, you know, if you have student loans and you have all these things that you have to pay for and you're not getting a good amount of income from your job, you're gonna be really struggling. So I think that that is the reason why younger people are, um, uh, are I think, not doing as well as they as they did in previous generations. Uh, I don't see how that gets any better, right? It's not like a lot of places are just going to pay people a livable wage. Uh, they try to pay the least amount possible. A lot of the jobs have been offshored to, you know, India or Mexico or other countries where the labor is cheaper. But if you live here in the United States, you still have to pay all these prices, right? You have to pay all the inflated prices of housing and of food and of insurance and of transportation. And if you're not getting an inflated wage with that and you're just working a normal job, you're really, really gonna be struggling. Uh, so that's that's why, again, that's why you see people just aren't having as many kids. People aren't buying homes at the same rate because they can't afford it on the jobs they have. And, um, you know, uh, we, we, we're relying a lot more on immigration for people to come in and for the, for the numbers of uh, people in the country to stay where they are. So in my opinion, I think it's people's standard of living has gone up. Like I said in the beginning, you know, everyone basically has like a phone and entertainment and safety and most people are not homeless, right? They have a place to sleep. They've got a roof over their head. They got running water. They can take hot showers. Uh, so from that capacity, obviously people are living well, but economically, like they're, 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 they're struggling, right? Because there's a small amount of people that are doing good. And then I think a very large percentage of people that are barely making it, you know, you hear the stats about being paycheck to paycheck. You hear the stats about people that can't cover $500. Uh, you see the stats on credit card usage because people have to basically uh, finance their life on a credit card. They don't have the money today to pay for all of their expenses, so they have to put it on plastic. And uh, the interest rates on that are 20 to 30% sometimes. So it can really, really cripple you if you are you know, having to put your life on a credit card. So I, in my opinion, I think economically, things are tougher for younger people today because there's just not that, there's just not that shoe in job anymore that you can rely on that's gonna provide you a good quality of life for 
20 years, 30 years, uh, the younger person is kind of forced to be more industrious and more creative in today's world. Um, because even if you do have a job, you know, the job might not be secure or it might not really be keeping up with the cost of living. And, uh, you know, when inflation is high, you have to, you have to continuously make more money. And if you're not able to do that, you're going to be struggling. So you guys let me know what you think. Again, I'm not saying any generation had it, um, so much easier or so much harder. It's just different. But today I think it's, it's pretty challenging for young people. So let me know what you think. Subscribe if you want. See you on the next one.